Good afternoon. We're back with another episode of the Lord of the Rings LCG Progression Series. Playing solo as always, and today's quest is Mount Doom. A very difficult quest. I'm going to have seven rounds to beat it, which is the amount of rounds I lasted against the Black Gate Opens. Looking for Ether Swordsman in the opening hand. That's not a good hand. Two good harvests is not good. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Draw one and then one. One, two, three. And I can play... I'll exhaust the one ring to add a resource to her Luin. I can play gaining strength for one. I can play Steward of Gondor for two. I can play Heed the Dream. No Ether Swordsman. Do I want Faramir here? I don't think so. Take Knight of the Swan. Maybe I want Faramir. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I'll take Faramir. Put Knight of the Swan back. Okay, and then I have Captain's Wisdom for 2. Faramir. to Onphalos Herdsman, Onphalos Herdsman. I'm going to use Faramir for a very good tail. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's not bad. So, questing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The card is discard a questing character or raise threat by one for each questing character. I'm gonna discard a questing character. That lowers threat or lowers willpower by one. This also surges into reveal I need to discard until an enemy is discarded, and that's gonna kill one of my heroes. Brutal. Okay, try again. It's difficult to get off to a good start in this one. Uh, steward. Let's go Wealth of Gondor, Captain's Wisdom. You can play Ether Swordsman, Ether Swordsman. And I will exhaust the one ring to add a resource and play Hunter of Lamadon. And four long. So, questing we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And the encounter deck card is each player must choose either discard your hand, I'll do that. And it surges into heavy and tired, which goes on her Lewin, and I doubt I can win with that on there. But we'll see. 19 to 3, 4, 5 is 14 progress. 11 more. So I do advance to phase 2, round 1 means Mordor Road. And it means shuffling the discard pile into the encounter deck. Then I move and I discard the top card. It is not an enemy, so that's good. And we're on to round two. And I owe threat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 threat is what I owe. Already paid 1, so it's 6 threat. Okay, here we go. Okay, 
Okay, so we got gaining strength, deep knowledge, deep knowledge, Captain's Wisdom, Warrior of Lasernak, Warrior of Lasernak, Anfalas Herdsman. So Forlong is not quite in his final form. For questing, I need to save back Frodo and Aristor for the Fortitude test. So we got, how much do I need? 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Card is Surge into Plains of Gorgoroth, so either raise your threat by one for each ally or discard an ally. I will discard an ally. I will discard a herdsman, which lowers my willpower by two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I do place progress there, so I make a fortitude test. Her Lewin cannot exhaust for a fortitude, or her Lewin can't fortitude test. But I can commit with Frodo and Aristor for four. And I'm going to be discarding three cards. Let's see, one, two, three. So I pass the fortitude test, which means a resource, and I move on to phase three. Because at the end of the quest phase, if the number of resources here is equal to or greater than the number of players, advance to stage three. Shuffle the discard pile in, and then we go look for a location. Okay, there's the location. Oh, I forgot when this is in staging, you add one to the fortitude test, but I still pass because it was two to four. So we'll move to break of thorns, which requires three damage. This enemy will engage. You can attack her Lewin, who's currently at three shields. That's a dud, so no damage. And that will be round two. So we're into the bulk of the quest. If you get through phase three, making the fortitude tests, I'll probably win, but it's pretty unlikely because the fortitude tests get harder the more you go along. I don't have Faramir and he wouldn't be able to help anyway at the beginning of the quest phase and I can't use her Lewin. So it's going to be pretty tough to do it. If it wasn't for heavy and tired, I'd probably be in pretty good shape here. So I owe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8 more threat. Okay, Darren's runes, draw two, discard one, Darren's runes, draw two, discard one, deep knowledge, draw two, let's play Wealth of Gondor, don't think I can Captain's Wisdom, I need Denethor for the Fortitude test. Play third ether swordsman. And I'm really hoping to find Faramir here. Let's go look for Faramir. Shuffle first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, third ether, or third warrior of loss are not going to deny the swan. That puts four long in his final form, at least. Now, at the beginning of the quest phase, I need to make a fortitude test. 
one, two, three, four, five, and I'm discarding five cards, so it's not likely. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I failed. Which means I can't place more than five progress this round. So, let's go ahead and quest. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen, maybe twenty-two, so four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. It's a ring race. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 13 to 24 is 11 progress. Okay. Move to Break of Thorns again, which means 5 damage among characters I control. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we got an attack from Little Sniffler. It's up against four shields. Discard a non-objective attachment you control. Well, I don't control Heavy and Tired, sadly. I did fail a Fortitude test this round, though, so... Uh, the attack's going to have to go on uh, four long. So, correct me if I'm wrong. After you fail a Fortitude test, exhaust Attached Hero and discard each non-objective attachment on it. Well, this heavy and tired is an attachment, right? So I would discard it. It goes away now. It doesn't say each, it doesn't say each non-objective attachment you control. And this says counts as a condition attachment. So I think it gets discarded now. I'll look it up. Well, I couldn't find anything, but it says each non-objective attachment, so I think this gets discarded. And along with Steward of Gondor. And then discard a non-objective attachment you control. See, sometimes it specifies you control, but if it doesn't specify you control, then usually you can get rid of enemy attachments as well. So it's four shields, so no damage. Attack also could have gone on Knight of the Swan, no problem. So that's the end of the round. That'll free up her Lewin to do fortitude tests. Uh, I can attack back for just one. That doesn't do any good. On to the next round. Oh, I don't know why I did that twice. Okay, but I do owe some threat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 11 more threats. So we're up to 62 now. And I draw two more. There's Faramir. Okay, I can get out Steward, which pays for itself. Get out Faramir. And on Philos Herdsman. So I would love to blitz through this quest this round. Do I want to use Very Good Tail? I could find Hunters of Lamadon, I could find Knight of the Swan on Philos Herdsman. So I think I will. Using Forlong as one of them because he can ready himself up again. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. So I do find a second Hunter of Lamadon and a Knight of the Swan. Now it's time for the Fortitude test. Unfortunately it's at the beginning of the quest phase so I don't have an action window in which I could use Faramir to help. But I get one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll use Denethor as well for nine to six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I do pass. And we're on to the quest phase. How much can I quest for? 
four long readies up. So I can quest for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 5, 46, 47, 48. I can quest for 52. Do I need all that? I need 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 29. So let me see what I have right now. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then I also need 3 and 15. It's 18. And I get maybe 4. So I'm over questing by quite a lot right now. I should save back one or two guys. What if I get Mordor Road? That that uh, location is how many threat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Maybe I just... I'll leave one guy back and hope for the best. So let's see some big money here. I think I've had three turns so far, right? So, encounter card says Mordor Road. <laughs> so it is one plus one for each ally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 25 to 47 is 22 progress. 19 more. So I do clear the location and move on to phase 4, which is shuffle until you or go look for an enemy to add to staging after shuffling the discard pile, so it's Orc Captain. And now I can go ahead and move to Mount Doom. It's going to be a Fortitude test, which means discarding six, and I'm going to fail it. Doesn't matter what the cards are, I fail, which means raising threat by 9, so I'm up to 71. And then we have an engagement from this orc captain. And I make a fortitude test when he engages, which means discarding 7. And I fail it, which means I reveal at the top card of the encounter deck, which is... Discard a questing character or raise your threat by one for each questing character. Well, there is no, uh, there are no questing characters and yeah, so nothing happens there. Two attacks to resolve, four long readies up. Attack number one will go on Hunter of Lamadon, I think. Forlong has four shields right now. Hunter of Lamadon has four as well. Forlong has four HP, so two extra on Hunter of Lamadon. So I don't think it matters either way. Put it on Forlong, I guess. Put it on Hunter of Lamadon. Attacking enemy gets plus one for each ally. Well, obviously that kills Hunter of Lamadon. And then three to four shields, that's a dud, so no damage. And at the end of the round... So all I have to do is clear Mount Doom and then pass a Fortitude test. Fortitude test will not be easy. Because I owe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14 more threats, so I'm at 86. That's a lot of cards on the Fortitude test, but I will get the benefit of Faramir for this one. So I draw 1, 2, 3. Those are terrible draws. It's 
not help at all. But here we go. This will be for the win. How much do I actually need? I'm facing, I need nine. That's a bad location to be there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So I'm facing 27. I need, that's how much I need. So actually that's not that bad. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'll just go all in in case I uh, in case I get another Mordor road. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Okay. Allies cannot enter play and when revealed effects cannot be canceled. So, here we go. Encounter deck has for us either discard a questing character you control or raise your threat by one for each questing character. I will discard a questing character I control. The herdsman, which will lower my willpower by four. But it doesn't surge, so it's 48 to 27. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 against to 48 is 31 progress. So that clears Mount Doom. And now when Mount Doom is explored, the first player makes a fortitude test. Discard one extra encounter card for each player. So it's going to be nine cards discarded. I'm still in the questing phase, so Faramir's buff applies. So I'm going to have one, two, three, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen against nine cards, and if I pass, I win. One, two, three. Well, Golem is discarded during a fortitude test. Put him into play, engage with the first player. Then choose an encounter card discarded for this test and ignore its icons. So you do them in order, right? So at the point that Golem entered, this was the only card I can discard that, or uh, ignore this card's icons. So that's one, two, three. I owe six more, with a total of two so far. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, to my thirteen. Even without ignoring this, I do pass the fortitude test, and that will be a victory. So the ring bearer completes the quest and the players win the game. This is not a thematic way at all to play this quest. However, it is effective and just as effective or more effective than any other method in my experience with this quest. Especially given the limitation that I applied to myself, which is that I'm not playing any Fellowship cards or cam campaign cards. I tried a few other decks with this, a Hobbit deck, uh, a Gandalf deck, and without the card like Fellowship of the Ring, I found it, well, it wasn't going well, we'll say. So, I mean, uh, Ally Swarm is specifically discouraged by the nature of this quest. However, I found it, even with the Outlands deck, just as effective as any other deck, really. If not more so, if you're applying the limitation of not using Fellowship cards or Campaign cards. If you are using those, I think you can play more thematically. I don't think I missed anything major in this, but I might have. It's possible. I don't know. 
the key to this is getting out at their swordsman very quickly. So I'm using a slightly different version of the Outlands deck than I was for other quests. I removed Envoy of Pelargir and Errand Rider for card draw effects, uh, Darren's Runes, and Deep Knowledge, which increases my win percentage against Mount Doom with this deck. So, thanks for watching.